everybody, Dr. Doyle here, and I am here to talk to you about um, selection statements in algorithms. And we'll look at it from uh, the point of view of flowcharts, but we'll also um, look at it from the point of view of written algorithms and how that might look in our case in MATLAB. So to get started, a reminder of where we are. So in my previous video, I talked to you about flowcharts and the three different types of control structures that are very common in writing algorithms and computer programming. We've spent all of our time so far looking at sequence structures, and now we're going to move into selection structure, selection structures, and then visit iteration structures next. So this is going to be the general format. It's going to have if statements and then either true or false, but we'll look at different scenarios here. So selection statements allow programmers to execute one command if a particular criteria is true, and then go down on a different path if it's false. And they use logical conditions, which again, this is very computer programming specific. Um, and again, we're going to focus here on how MATLAB deals with logical conditions in my set of videos and slides. So I'm going to start with just a simple if statement. And an if statement is going to choose a path based on some particular condition. So you're going to um, have an expression, and that expression is going to be either true or false. And when your computer program or your flowchart gets to this expression, if it's true, it's going to go down one path. And it will have some statement or set of statements that it executes if the expression is true. And then it will report kind of meet back up with the rest of the program. If the statement is false, nothing happens. So that's what is key about an if statement, is that there are no statements, no sequence of um, programming steps that are taken on the false path. And then it meets up with the rest of the um, program. So if you showed this in code, it would look like this. If expression statement and I'm showing here indentation because it's just a, it makes it an easier way to read the program. And then end. So if it's true, these statements get executed. Otherwise, if this statement is false, it's going to jump to the end and then continue on. As an example, I want a computer program or an algorithm that just lets me know if a student has failed if their grade is less than 60 on any particular test. So or in the course. So what this might look like is I have a program where I've input the score and then I ask is the grade less than 60? If that's true I'm going to output fail. Otherwise I'm going to not do anything. I'm only triggering if it's if there's a fail. And I'll continue on with the rest of my program. Translating this to a written algorithm or possibly MATLAB but this is not going to look truly like MATLAB. It might look like this. If the grade is less than 60, display the word fail on the screen and then end. So again, you'll notice here that nothing happens if the grade is greater than or equal to 60. It just completely skips um, everything within that if statement. The next type of selection statement I would like to discuss is an if-else statement. And an if-else statement allows a computer program or an algorithm to choose between two sets of statements. So we're going to start very similarly where I start with some expression. That's a logical expression. It's going to take either a true or a false value. If it's true, some particular statement one or sequence of statements is executed by the program or the algorithm. If it's false, however, it's going to be a different set of statements that are executed by the algorithm or computer program. And then when either of those two paths are executed, we continue on down the regular path. So in a computer program or MATLAB, this will look like this. We'll start very similarly where we have if and then the expression. And I've showed the word if here in blue because that's what MATLAB does when you type the word if. So I have if expression and again expression is something that will take a logical true or false or zero or one. Then statement one or the set of statements is executed. Else, and so here you need to use that word else to indicate to MATLAB that if this is false, something else happens. Then you'll have statement two, and then you end it. 
So you'll notice the difference between just the if and the if else is adding in this else. So if you do not include the else, then everything within your structure is skipped. But if you have the else, it's sort of the catch-all. If this is not true, then this other thing is going to happen. So for example, expanding on my previous example, I want to know if the student passes or fails. So I'm going to get a fail if the grade is less than 60. Otherwise, else, I'm going to get pass. So I'm going to start very similarly. I ask, is the grade less than 60? If that's true, I go down this path to fail. And if it's false, I go down the other side and output pass. In a programming language, it would look like this. If grade less than 60, display fail, else display pass, and then end. One more complication is an is, elf, if, else if statement. And this checks multiple criteria and finds the first place that a true is found and executes those statements. So I'll say that one more time and then I'll probably say it again. An if else statement is gonna check criteria and the first time that it finds a true, it's gonna execute the statements. So here's what this looks like. It starts very similarly. I come in, I have a logical expression one. If it's true, I execute these statements. However, it's, if it's false, I'm gonna check the next expression. If that one is true, I have another set of statements to execute. Otherwise, if that one is false, I check again for another expression. If it's true, here's what's happened. If it's true, statement three. If it's false, then I have statement four. Translating that into computer programming, hedging towards MATLAB is gonna look like this. If expression one, statement one. Else if expression two, statement two. Else if expression three, statement three. Else statement four and then end. So again, the first time that MATLAB sees a true, it's gonna execute the statements. Once it executes the statements, it jumps to the end. So if expression one is true, statement one is executed, and statement two, three, and four are ignored. If expression one is false, next it'll check expression two. If that's true, statement two is executed. The rest is skipped, and we skip to the end. This is going to become much more clear here as I show my example. So in this case, I'm going to determine the test letter grade based on the percentage following our normal scale of 90 and above is an A, 80 and above is a B, etc. So here's what this is going to look like. I'm going to come in, I'm going to ask if the grade is greater than or equal to 90. If that's true, I'm going to assign an A. If it's false, I'm going to ask if the grade is greater than or equal to 80. If that's true, I'll assign a B. If that's false, I'm going to ask if it's greater than or equal to 70, if it's true, a C, and so on. This would continue, but I've run out of space from this slide. So translating that into computer programming or a written algorithm, I would say if the grade is greater than or equal to 90, an A. Else if the grade is greater than or equal to 80, a B. Else if grade, or equal, grade greater than or equal to 70, a C. Else if grade greater than or equal to 60, a D. Else an F and then end. So here's where you can really see that this if else if is going to find the very first true statement and execute that. If my grade is greater than or equal to 90 and I get an A, the rest is skipped based on the way that I have written this and the order I've written this. If you So it's never going to ask if grade is greater than or equal to 80. That is also true, but it just goes to that very first true statement. So the correct answer popping out of here if you put in a 92 would be A. So you really have to be careful about the order with which you list these in your statements. Otherwise, sometimes it gets a little backwards. That's all I have for you today about selection statements and if, else, if. Uh, we'll do some practice, and in my next video we'll talk a little bit about iteration techniques and what those look like in flowcharts and translating to written algorithms and computer program. See you later.